Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Rosero Game Stage. Yes, I like this guy, I like this guy. Uh, we are finishing up the Comic Con with a wonderful hour with our friends at uh, Bandai Namco. So without further ado, I'm going to get onto the stage. Edwin from Bandai Namco and Rich from Zero. Come on. Hello, everyone. Hello again. I guess you came to the God Eater panel. Yes. <laughs> um, this one? This one? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to be playing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven first. So uh, you're going to have to tell me all about this because I know next to nothing. Right. So, okay. Um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's a manga series. It's an anime series as, as well. Um, in fact, it's currently airing uh, on Crunchyroll. Um, so it's, how should I put it? It's quite bizarre. I mean, it's in the name. Yeah. Um, it starts off about the story of the Joestar family and how they met um, this evil villain called Dio, who uh, gains these vampire. Stardust to Crusaders. Oh, loud. Maybe. <laughs> um, Dio, uh, he's um, like this evil villain that has vampire powers. And then throughout different generations, they have to fight against these vampire-like um, evils. Right, okay. So is it different generations of the Joe Star family then? That's and right. They, they so okay. um, you hit, so the, game, uh, sorry, the series is split up into parts. So part okay. one was the original, how it all started out. Then part two was the grandson of uh, Jonathan Joe Star, who was the, um, who was the, you know, the original uh, Joe Star to right. in part one. Then in part three is the grandson of um, Joseph, who was from part two, and then okay. and, and so on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what we what we what we have here is the story mode of um, Eyes of Heaven, where uh, it takes place in part three in the final battle, or yeah, we're at the final battle already right. of uh, against uh, Dio. Um, okay. So the game is so far is going to follow this story, but right. what happens after this battle? Um, we'll find out soon. Okay. So this guy's Dio here. Yes. So right. you, I mentioned and Dio earlier. Why, why is he uh, drilling his finger into his brain? That's yes, right. That's <laughs> because yes, he absorbed uh, his uh, jo John Jotaro, the right. uh, hero here, mm -hmm. his um, grandfather, which is Joseph Joestar. And okay. uh, there's a lot of more story behind it, but he's basically, you know, like super powerful now. Okay. And all right. So I'm gonna get into the fight. Right then, well, good luck. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright. Let me skip through this. Cool. So, a little bit of background story. This is actually developed by Cyber Connect 2. Okay, they are yeah. famous for their uh, Naruto Storm games. Yeah. Um, and the guys at Cyber Connect 2 are absolute fans of the, of not just Naruto, but also JoJo's. Right. Um, so they've recreated um, from the source material the JoJo's games so faithfully. I mean, yeah. if you check some of their interviews, you can see like they have like shelves of manga. Yeah. And this is not a great start, but... Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh. Okay, so do you follow Dio throughout the story then, and you've got to just keep kind of battling him as he gets more and more powerful through the through the ages or whatever? Um, so no, this, this is just a one-off battle. Um, right. But then what happens after this is going to uh, dictate the story uh, right. and how it differentiates with the uh, actual series. Okay. And I suppose Dio has an army of minions as well, does he? I can't imagine he does all this on his own. Well, previously, when um, before this battle happens, he, he has been so, uh, sending in his uh, minions to uh, do his work for him to try and take down the Joestar family. Right. So you can, can you tell us what you're doing here, like the mechanics? Yeah. So there's a there's a one, one, the main attack is the square button, which is like your weak attack, and yeah. then if you press it multiple times. Oh no, it went down. Oh no. But it's all good, I've got uh, another life. Okay. Um, yeah, by pressing the square button I do um, a combo of yeah. um, triangles my uh, strong attack, okay. which knocks them back, and then X is my jump, circles my dash. Right, okay. 
All right, so there we go. Hey, I got A. Yeah, not bad. Nice work. Uh, did pretty well. Good work. So as you progress, do you unlock extra characters, or do you have the co whole roster kind of unlocked from the start? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not too sure on that uh, okay. front, but there are quite... I mean, because the manga's been going on since... Um, the 80s, I believe, yeah. and it's been, it's still actually, there's new content, uh, there's new chapters coming out every day, every okay. month. Yeah. Um, this, there's a lot of characters in this game. Yeah. Um, so, that's been spreading over, um, over 30 years worth of... Uh, okay, wow, yeah. so yeah, plenty to draw <laughs> upon, that's good. So, remember I mentioned that Dio is a vampire? Yeah. Okay, he's, what Jotaro is currently doing, the hero here, um, he's waiting to for him to heal, right? And then he's gonna. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what he's gonna do. Okay. Is he a kind of traditional vampire in that he died from a stake in the heart? I'm, I'm guessing not. Um, no. Instead, okay, he got beheaded, okay. and then he was locked in a coffin with um, Trutara's great grand, no, great great grandfather. Right. Um, because he, so he's actually got the body of his great great grandfather. Ah, okay. Um, as you can see, there's quite <laughs> very <Yeah>. foul language <laughs> involved. As you can see, they very stylized the yeah, uh, animation with the comic-like. Uh, yeah. yeah, it looks great. But his knee's not looking so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's blinded in with blood. That's out of order. So... Uh, for a bit of background story, there's these things called stands, which are which you see as the um, you know like a like a little spirit animal. Except yeah. not really an animal; it's more like a human. Okay. Um, and they share the same like if you, if you get if the spirit gets hurt, so does the human that is right. controlling it. So that's why he's able to defeat him by right. punching the weak point, which was his uh, his knee, because he had really been injured. Yeah. And he obviously splattered his blood uh, onto yeah. his eyes to try and um, you know uh, get put, uh, to, as a surprise attack. Yeah. Okay. But obviously, he saw through that. <laughs> All right. So I've defeated nice. the final boss. Well done. In, uh, Good work. Yeah. Um, so that's it, right? It's the shortest game ever. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Or is it? Maybe there's more. So these three characters um, that were part of Joe Toro's like crew, who right. um, came along in this in this long journey because it was it was originally from they're all from Japan okay. and they flew over to oh so they, they tried to fly over to Egypt but they right. had to take a very long route because they kept being intercepted and these three um, people in Joe Toro's party had uh, yeah. unfortunately fallen uh, in battles. Right. Okay. So where are we heading next then? Where's this mission so set? So this is kind of um, what was it, what was it called when you you know when you finish the uh, main story? Um, but yeah, I mean this this yeah. this is roughly where um, the story would have normally ended. Right. Okay. But yeah. Obviously, we're so at it's like the, we're this is kind of the epilogue. Yeah, in, in a sense. But okay. Um, this is this di this is where it starts to diverge from right. the main manga and anime because uh, oh, okay. the manga and anime it would have this part would have been finished right uh, you know right around now. Okay. But so if you if you know the manga and the anime is inside out, you still got new stuff you're going to discover yes. in this. That's okay. right. So if you if you if you followed the series, um, this will be very new and okay. thinking. Hang on. Why, why is it continuing? Right. So we'll, find, oh, we'll, cool. we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. So excellent. Because obviously, I just defeated the final boss. It can't just end. Yeah. There. Sure. <laughs> Seems like the kind of game where you could end up going to the moon. Um. <laughs> well, well, we'll, I'll leave, we'll leave that for the players to yeah, find out okay. if they do go to the moon or not. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So which number is this in the JoJo series? Because there's been a fair few, haven't there, on the PlayStation? Right. So in terms of games, this this is actually how should I put it? This, well, there was the, this is the second Cyber Connect Two game, right. and it's actually technically the I guess the third um, English localized right. um, JoJo's game because there's um, a, so the first Cyber Connect Two uh, fighting game that they did um, brought out for the PS3. Um, that one came out in English, right. and before before that, there was another JoJo's game, but it wasn't published by us. Okay. All right. So uh, he burns the book, but so what was that book he burnt then? Hmm? What was that book that he burnt? Uh, it was kind of uh, detailing like uh, Dio's powers. Okay. Yes. Okay. But hang on, who's this here? <laughs> It's not Dio, yeah. is it? No, but sure, mm, I don't know. If for those fans out there, I think they might r recognize uh, this attire. Okay. Um, potentially, maybe the people that were that fallen in battle earlier. Right. I mean, why are they there? Oh. Who knows? Okay, but I want to find this out. Is, this is actually where I would like to end it. Oh, really? Okay, before going oh, to, so cliffhanger. Going to yes. But however, so if you want to find out what happens next, you're going to exactly. have to play but the game. Exactly. But instead, yeah. um, at home, you can download this uh, demo on uh, PlayStation Network. Okay. Um, so you can find out actually what, uh, why are these um, familiar-looking comrades uh, back? Right. And what are I they? What are they out to do? And that demo is available till July, right? And then um, the game comes out. I'm not f too sure about um, if it's if there's going to be an end time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be there for a long time. But I need to double. I would need to double check that. However, yeah. as of today, you can definitely yeah. download it. So, yeah, you can download the demo on PlayStation 4 and give JoJo's Bizarre Adventure a, a, a try. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. So, we're going to move on then? Yes, we are. So, next we're going to show some God Eater 2 Rage Burst. That's I right. Yeah, okay. So, uh, when you're ready. So, am I right in thinking this is the first time God Eater's headed to the West? Um, so, there was a God Eater game out on PSP. Right. Um, however, um, that was, I think, four years ago? No, it was oh, five okay. years ago. It was, it was quite a while it's back. It's been a so while, yeah. Not, so not too many people um, mean, that, that are interested today may, yeah. be, um, may know of it. Right. Um, especially since, you know, some people may not know, you know, sorry, you know the popularity of the PSP. Yeah. But um, we're now bringing God Eater to the West. Yeah. It's been quite a big fan requested game. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to jump straight in. Okay. Um, I believe you, you had a go with a, the God Eater Resurrection. I did, before. yeah. I played a bit of that. And um, I did okay, okay, I think. Yeah, I killed a few, uh, a few monsters and uh, <laughs> experimented with the different weapons. And I know that the weapons have uh, three different forms, right? They have a gun form, a sword form, and a shield form, right? That's correct. And you can switch between them. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to skip the tutorial. I mean, okay. and I'll explain it uh, on the on the fly. I'm just going to start off with an easy mission. Okay. Okay. And then if you've got time, we'll go straight into a hard one. Right. Okay. How are you on this? Are you, uh, um, are you pretty good. I'm decent. I'm yeah? decent. So okay. this is your, so to explain the plot or the setting of the game. Mm -hmm. um, it's set in a post-apocalyptic uh, world. Yeah. In the 2070s. Right. And the reason why it's in a post-apocalyptic stake is because these uh, monsters called Aragami, yeah. they, are, uh, they basically eat any living organism, and that, right. in, that includes humans. So. And if you buy this game in the West, don't you get God Eater Resurrection with that's it? That's right. You get, two, you get two games for one, essentially. Yeah. So that's pretty good. So if you're interested in you know, catching up on the God Eater series, get them both. Yeah. So you might have saw earlier. I would just I just used the um, the gun and then right. I switched to the sword. Um, mm -hmm. The gun instead of using ammunition. If you look at the bar at the top, there's a um, there's a green bar. Yeah. That's what uses my uh, ammunition instead. Okay. Oh, let's see if I can get it from here. So you might see the bullet isn't so isn't very sorry. It's very unique in that it was homing. So in this game, you can customize the bullets to be how you like it. Right. Okay. 
And can you change the behaviour of your party so they do different things? Like yeah, that's right. If you right. want them to hang back, they'll hang back, and if you want them to attack, they'll attack. There we go. My buddy had to feed it. Whoops. Fell off there. So how far in is this roughly? Is this near the beginning? Um, I'm not too sure actually, but I believe this is, this is uh, it's just a very simple mission because the game right. is very mission based. Yeah. Um, hang on. So you always go back to your hub, yes. kind of your base, and you regroup there. What uh, can you do in your base then? Can you, do you kind of level up and do all that kind of stuff? Um, so there's no leveling up in this game, but you can um, essentially like farm for items and right. um, that's where you can customize your weapon. Uh, you know, make good weapons and uh, purchase new items and okay. um, customize your bullets, um, select your weapon type. In this case, I'm using a short blade. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah, I should need to uh, <laughs> defend more. So, this what I'm doing here after the uh, defeat, I get an item every time I use um, that, what's called Devour. Yeah. Um, which basically, you know, I only need these items to right. help. Um, upgrade my weapons. Right. Obviously in this demo I'm probably not going to do so. Oh. And that's why these guys are called God Eaters, right? Because they actually devour their enemies. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. He looks a bit tough. <laughs> so yeah, the monster design's really weird. What's the weirdest kind of monster you've seen in this so far? Oh. I mean, so the Vajra, thing, the Vajra that that was kind of weird. Uh, which is, uh, if you're here at Comic Con, you can see there's a like a gigantic version in the main uh, expo hall. Right. Okay. Um, that one's a pretty unique one. It's like a lion, but it's also kind of not really a lion. <laughs> okay. Weird. Do you find yourself taking on multiple monsters at one time? Yeah, at times. Sort of so, in this, because it's a fairly easy mission. Um, you know, they, they, you can very easily take them out one by one. But right. towards the harder ones, you can def you'll, there'll definitely be times when you want to, yeah. well, you'll be facing multiple at once. Right. How kind of big do they get? I mean, do very they, big. Like filling the screen kind of big? Um, I guess so, yeah. Yeah? Big. Are there any that have kind of multiple parts you've got to take down bit by bit? So monsters do actually have like weak points. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume here it's the tail. Right. Okay, maybe not. Might be the head. But you can tell by the, the way the blood splatters. Yeah. Well, and the damage numbers, surely. The, the bigger number pops up, you've obviously hit the weak spot, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you see that the, there's a much bigger number when I whack the head. Yeah. And it seems like a more uh, harsher attack. Okay. Do you always play as the main guy, or can you switch between the so different members of your party? You can play other characters, but... Um, the way the game's designed is that you get to um, customize your own character. Okay. So in this case, in this demo, there's a pre-created um, custom character. Right. Can you go into quite a bit of detail with the, the customization? Yeah. So main, it's mainly the um, the facial features. Right. Um, but you can also, um, obviously, as you unlock more equipment, you get to. Um, you know, change the outfits as well. Okay, that's cool. You got, is it this game that you've got some pre-ordered like, outfits that's for right. that have from different things like Tokyo Ghoul, is it? That's and right. Some other stuff? Uh, there's so Tokyo Ghoul, um, Tales of Zestiria, and, to and Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. Right. There's costumes, there's pre-ordered uh, exclusive costumes for each of those. Okay. Uh, and those will be uh, for Body 2 Rage Burst specifically. Right. Uh, to add to that, um, if, you, if you're a PlayStation user, mm -hmm. um, you can, there is actually cross-save and cross-play between PS Vita and PS4. Okay. That's cool. Hey. Hey, nice work. So that was just an easy mission to ease yeah, into, Yeah, right? nice, a nice simple one. He was, okay. He's, he's what's called a mid-sized uh, aragami. Right. Because, uh, so that means there's much bigger ones. Right, okay. On. Are you going to show us some of those today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've got time. Okay, excellent. All right. And yeah, that's the release date for the 2nd of August, uh, where you get both your Resurrection yeah. with free with Body 2 Rage Burst. Just to right. clarify, it's not exclusive to pre-order, so right. you can, if you buy it at any point, okay. uh, brand new, then you'll get Body 2 Resurrection. Oh, excellent. That's cool. And that's a download code in the box, right? Um, so physical, yes. Yeah, it will physical be, copies, um, yeah. In the um, digital versions, mm -hmm. you just download it okay. as part of a queue. Right. Cool.
All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a harder mission. Okay. And also try out a different weapon. Right. Because, um, like, it's, like I mentioned, there's there's multiple weapons. There was, so that yeah. was just a simple blade. Yeah, or a knife. Okay. And I, what I find the most interesting is uh, the scythe, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually new to Rage Burst. Um, right. So specifically, so I'm gonna give the scythe a go. Looks and pretty mean. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty badass. <laughs> All right, let's go to the hard mission. Right. So generally speaking, do the harder missions mean bigger monsters? So if you're going up to very hard, it's going to be even yes. more fearsome? Right, yeah. okay. And at times you might even face more than one at the same time, right. as mentioned earlier. Okay. Is it a case of as you progress, you, you have to tackle the harder missions, or can you go through the game on well, easy? So it, there's no like difficulty settings for the... Oh my lord, that's massive. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's no like difficulty settings. Um, yeah that you can pre-select, but it's more the missions have its own difficulties. Right. How many missions are there roughly in the game? Oh, Do you know? I can't put a number yeah. on, but there's there's plenty to keep you going, and uh, there'll be a lot. There'll be some post-launch yeah. um, missions as well to right. Um, you know, keep keep people going. I remember reading somewhere there's like over a hundred hours or something. Yes, that's right. You can there, easily so spend hundreds yeah, of hours trying game. to get your perfect weapons. Yeah. Actually, what I'm going to quickly do is, while well, in the middle of battle, try and change the, um, the camera. So it's okay. a little bit easier to see, because I, can, I, I noticed that it might be a little bit tough to follow. Right, okay. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for, uh, for people to see the action happening. Yeah. So I'm assuming this guy's weak spot's his head, because it seems to be the most exposed. Yeah. He's got kind of that rocky armor on him, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, notice that yeah. the more blood comes out rather than yeah. me attacking, say, the, the leg. So do you always have the same allies with you as well, or do you no. meet other people? So you can you actually, um, that you will get, so it depends on the mission, yeah. you get different uh, allies, and uh, but if there are not, if there are optional ones, uh, okay. sorry, optional missions, then you can get um, uh, allies. Uh, you can choose any ally essentially. Right. Uh, if you play online, you can, it's, it's, it essentially comes down to your friends. Right. Okay. So does each character that you take with you have different attributes, different abilities? Yeah. So what I'm using is a character. Sorry. It's a when you when you join the game, you'll be using what's called a new type God Arc. Right. Sorry, God Eater. Some characters in this game aren't the new type, and right. they are only limited to like melee weapons or um, the the ranged uh, gun. Um, so obviously it's not going to be yeah. ideal to you know, change change up based on the situation. Yeah. Right. Now I'm going to activate what's called um, blood rage, and it's yeah. There's some. This is going to be some anime music. <laughs> is this a new mechanic for rage burst? Then the, this. Kind of rage stuff. Yes, that's right. Right, okay. And that's why the game is called Rage Burst, then, presumably. Yep. Okay. So there are differences in mechanics between the, uh, the two games. Mm -hmm. All right, this is where I power up. I can I hear stuff can... coming out of the controller as well. Is that like um, yes. dialogue from your, from your allies? That's right. So, we, so there, there is like a, you know the intel that yeah. are telling me um, all the situations that surround me that I may okay. not you know pick up. Like for example, someone's right. health might be a bit low, or um, the, it might be at a certain point that it might be weaker the right. Aragami. Okay, and it looks like you've broken some of his armor there as well. His back legs. Yeah. So. So that yeah, you can chip away at them. I think you've got this. Also, when I um, devour, I get this yeah. thing. I get uh, what's called um, aragami bullets. Okay. So in this case, because I've absorbed this aragami, um, I get these big fireballs, which you can right. see the, the ammo them on over. the bottom. Right. And so. I can get more by simply doing more devourers. Right. Like so. So if you look on the bottom right, I've now got another um, stock of the bullet. And these bullets are very powerful uh, in defeating your uh, yeah. enemies. How do you know kind of how much health he's got left? 
Because I can't see, he hasn't got a bar, has he? Yeah, so... Um, it's You have to listen to your intel. Right. And, and uh, to know roughly what the... Um, the health is okay. Um, it is actually possible to heal, like as you know, when I mentioned the bullets, yeah, you can get what's called healing bullets, right? Um, to obviously give to your uh, team members. Uh, there's also items you can um, use, and you might have seen I used a couple. Okay, uh, there's one where you can like drop a, like a healing orb, right? And then whoever touches it can pick it up and get some health back. Yeah, um, you might have also notice that I was healing um, because of my uh, comrades uh, sending healing bullets. Uh, however, right. that's obviously the AI. When you play online, you would need to try and coordinate with yeah, your of uh, friends to make sure yeah, um, they're healing you. you you're not going to die. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Cool. Right, I'm going to try my hand at doing very hard. Okay. When I tried it before, I actually couldn't finish it. Ah, okay, right, so all right. There is Let's see if you can do it this time then. So there is a time limit, and it's pretty tough. This guy right. he moves very fast, and he's really big. So yeah. first step, I'm going to change up. I'm never very, never very good at time restricted <laughs> missions myself. So, which I mean, tell me, is there is there a weapon that you think looks uh, really cool that you want me to see? That's not the knife or the. I feel knife. like it's hammer time. Hmm? I feel like it's hammer time. Hammer time. Let's have a hammer. Yeah, that why not? Big block. Yeah. All right. Let's we've go. Had let's a go side, we've had a blade. Let's let's oh, have a look hammer. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> subtle. All right. Yeah. So let's let's rock with that. And actually, cool. I'll, I'll also change the camera now. And then let's, let's uh, go into it. Okay. Oh. So you haven't done this yet? Uh, you I haven't completed it I haven't yet. completed it. Okay. I tried it um, back in the office, but uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't finish it. It was uh, <laughs> too difficult for me. But okay. obviously, I was using a different weapon, and yeah. now, okay, maybe with your advice of using a hammer, okay, yeah. I might come out victorious. Well, who knows? Who knows? And you've got the audience support as well, I'm sure, you know? To back you up, there you go, <laughs> see? <laughs> All right, let's go. Straight so, you into know, it. He doesn't okay. look too big, but, huh? you know, he does look... Looks as, looks isn't everything. Yeah, don't be deceived, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> he moves pretty fast. Ouch! Didn't see that coming. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I can see why this would be tough. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm moving a little bit slower than That's normal. the hammer, right? Yeah, that's the hammer. Ah, damn. Maybe the hammer was a bad choice. Well, let's see if I can find his weak point. Let's try oh, wow. Hit. Your health's um, not looking too great. <laughs> I think his head might be the weak point. Right, okay. But And those lasers are coming out of the tail. <laughs> he looks kind of slightly woozy. Was he stunned there for a second, or? Um, well, actually, I can't. Like no, when those lasers hit him. Yeah, so he, he does kind of, um, you know, um, he, can, he can get stunned after using after using the. Oh, oh yeah. God. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> I think I got my shield. Um, I can use a stun grenade to properly stun him, oh, and that's that not could bad give me an opportunity to devour. Yeah. So let's, let's give that a tactic a go. Okay. Oh. What else have you got in your inventory then? I see you've got like Boom. healing syringes. There we go. But what, what other stuff can you throw it in? Sorry? What other stuff can you throw it in from your so, inventory? So here are basically all my um, items. In which case, right. the, the, mainly, the mainly healing. So here's this, for example, if I drop this restore ball, ah, okay. Okay, someone else can pick it up. Ah. Um, or, I can, or I can, I mean... Oh, okay. I'm starting to run low in health, so I may, I'll go pick it up. Uh, oh, oh, you got you it. You got, got saved. It. <laughs> okay. All right. Where is he? Where is he? There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> I see. Yeah, he moves pretty fast, so... Yeah, he's, tri he's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that spin attack's pretty... Uh, Pretty tough to counter. See, it's tough that it's 
his head that's the weak spot because that's where all the attacks are coming from, the dashes and stuff. It's the yeah, kind of bit oh. you don't want to be facing, right? Oh good. <laughs> oh no. Alright, there's just a little bit more health. There, there we go. Okay. I can safely get back in the action without. <laughs> oh, okay, that health just all went. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was to power myself up. Oh man. And that's why that's why it's better to go as a team so yeah, they can no, help support you healing. Although I might take a bit more use of some more restore pills to make sure I'm not gonna fall. Although, could you could you assign one of your team to to be a, like a healer? Um, so yeah, I mean before the uh, before the or even during the um, um, the uh, hunt, you can right. you can actually like change up some tactics. Right. Okay. If I remember. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember how you set it. Okay, oh, so oh, I, I died. However, okay, it's not the end. Okay. So what happens is a team member can come up to you and um, trade half their life to uh, give it to you. Okay. Um, it's always good practice to obviously you come back to life to uh, or um, yeah. or you bring back someone to just heal. So for example, if I were you see if I take bring him back to life, I lose yeah. half my health. I see. Um, so I can, but if I just restore. It's oh. a bit of a gamble. If I restore, then yeah. However, obviously, you gotta, if you manage, you got to manage your items as well before yeah. the... Oh no. Oh, down again. Again. So the team seemed pretty efficient at coming and reviving you though. Yes, he does. You're not left there shouting, come and get me. Ooh. Okay, okay, just about voided it. Oh, I don't like those lasers. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, they oh. seem fairly easy to telegraph, right? You can block them in time. Ouch. Okay, Let's see if I can revive Alyssa. Oh, no. Oh, wow. He's, he's ready for me. Okay. Oh, missed it. There we go. Do you know how close you've been to defeating this? Um, so this, you can't, as you can tell, there's no like health. However, yeah. um, uh, there are various indicators. Oh, uh, there we go. I got revived. Um, there are various indicators to tell how much health he's got. Right. So one of them is, like I say, the intel. Yeah. Uh, by listening to the intel, um, you can get a rough idea on how much health he's got left. Um, the other thing you can do is seeing how aggressive he is. Mm -hmm. So. Aragami often will get more aggressive as they um, as you progress. Right. So they just said that Aragami bond has shattered. What does that mean? Sorry. They just said on the screen that Aragami bond has shattered. What does that mean? Right. So if you attack a specific point um, enough, you can get uh, you can shatter parts of their body. Uh, the uh, yeah, their parts of the yeah. body. Right. Which and it makes it you know more damaging. Right. Exposes another weak spot basically. Yeah. Gives you more angles to attack from. Okay. Oh, oh god. No. <laughs> Luckily I've got team members that can uh, heal me. Oh no. So you get to the point where you can oh. deploy a rage burst move to kind of turn the tide a bit? Sorry? Is there a point at which you could do a rage burst here? To yeah, so I can, uh, in this demo I can do it at any point, um, right. but only once. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of save it this time until right. I, I feel like I can defeat him. Yeah, you need to pick the right moment. Okay, so we've got eight minutes left to finish him off. Seems quite harsh that if you get close to beating him and then the time runs out. Yeah, it must so be upsetting. <laughs> so I mean, in theory, um, you can actually kind of survive forever. Okay. Because of uh, um, obviously the fact that um, people can heal you right yeah just by using a bullet and you get bullet obviously by just simply attacking them so that's why it's uh, uh, you know it, that's why they put the time limit on so you yeah. can sit there forever <laughs> oh no 
Actually, I tell a lie. The the enemy's health is actually on the top right. Oh, the blue bar. Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, is it the blue one, or it might be the white one? One of the two. Fortunately, I can't. But well, e either way, he's uh, yes. He's <laughs> he's not quite dead. So no way. Only like halfway long. Yeah. So you, every, you know, you may notice that every time I devour, I get this yellow bar. Yeah. It, it essentially powers me up, um, and it's very useful because I can um, uh, cancel like my attacks. Right. So, for example, I can uh, if I just da dash up, attack. Try that again. Dash up, attack. Dash up, attack. And then you know, can't maybe do like a hit and run tactic. So what happens if you get all three levels maxed. On that um, then you get powered up for a very long time, right? And you get more, uh, obviously, more more mobility yeah. and more damage. Okay. Uh, however, the, the way to get um, powered up uh, to be on level one yeah. is by shooting essentially the bullets. You know how I was mentioning the um, the, the bullets in the bottom right? Yeah. Um, you can you, you can fire at the aragami. You can also fire it to your teammates, and then they'll also get the boost. So that's how you go beyond level one. Right. Okay. So in this case, I'm just going to use it all on my teammates, and hope they use it efficiently. <laughs> yeah. But in a, obviously, when you play online, you can you'd need to coordinate um, who wants to be leveled up. Okay. Ah, miss. <laughs> you know what? Since I've gotten below half, I'm going to try um, the blood rage. Okay. Five minutes to go. Three, two, one. Right, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Hooray, okay. So I've done <laughs> enough damage and now I get to power up. Oh, great. If that blue bar is his health, we're in trouble. Yeah, better not die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go, time has turned red now. It's getting serious. Although you've exposed like his his face and his jaw, right? So he had that kind of mask and now that's that's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, you can see that. Uh, oh, you've when chipped I, it away or something. Every time I yeah. like slam the floor I get the little beams flying out of it. Right. But that's only when I'm powered up. So now, now let's run out. Oh, oh no. I'm down. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Nice one. Store. There we go. Uh, let's see. Almost four minutes left. Um, let's see if I can uh, take him down. He's, I mean, I'm about a quarter, a quarter of the health left. Could you go away and kind of get new abilities and stuff that, that make you more powerful and then come back and do this with a bit more power? Yeah. And so, I mean, like I say, it's not down to level, um, yeah. but obviously your weapons and your bullet choices, Yeah. because uh, you can customize it, and um, uh, and obviously your skill is yeah. the most important thing. And perhaps um, the hammer isn't the right tool for this job. I mean, if I do it, <laughs> then your advice is uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'd say it might be a very close one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can see his, you can see the health uh, up above. Oh. Nice. Oh. Okay. Maybe it helps if I hit him. Yeah. He doesn't show uh, any signs of slowing, does he? No. He's getting more and more aggressive. Yeah. If anything. Well, you stopped doing the tail lasers so much, which is good. That's something. Hmm. Small mercies. Oh, three minutes left is what my <laughs> intel has just told me. <laughs> so, a death test for people. Doing enough damage to <laughs> defeat him. Oh. Oh, boy. It does seem like you're dealing more damage, though. I'm seeing, like, 400s, 500s. Oh, enraged. So you uh -oh. see there's all that purple uh, particles coming out. It's going to be pretty aggressive now. Oh. 
Oh no. Alright, let's go, let's go bring her back. So I noticed you have an endurance rating that goes down as well as you get revived. Does that mean you can only be revived so many times for um, endurance rating? I'm not too Deplete. sure on that. Perhaps you only have so many, you know, revives. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can revive so long as, you know, someone someone is alive. Right, okay. Basically. Uh, but obviously at the cost of half of someone's health. Yeah. Perhaps being revived has an impact on that statistic, endurance. Alright, let's try this again. 1 minute 40. Need to do some real damage here. Oh no, one of my teammates had fallen. Oh no. Because I'm trying to get into the <laughs> um, powered up mode, the blood rage. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave him for one of my team members to bring him back. Yeah. Because now I can pretty much just absorb all these attacks and <laughs> just keep attacking him. With one minute to remain. One minute left. Not sure we're going to manage it. Oh, he's, o knock he's, him down. Down. he's over. Okay, he's exposed. I can see he's got like a yellow spot on his belly there. Oh, he's back up. And he's not happy. Okay, it ends now. <laughs> oh no, I got stunned. 30 seconds coming up to. Such little yep, health as 30 well. seconds left. Come on. 25. My, it's dropping all the. Oh no! Oh no, down again! Is there anyone left to get you up? Yeah, there is. There we go. Ten, Ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No! No! no. Oh, so oh well. We gave it a good try. Gave it a good go. But there you go. Oh. Still didn't manage to do it. <laughs> That's <laughs> tough. That well, looks really hard. How are we doing for time, though? To, is there enough time for one? Loads of time? Yeah. Okay, let's, okay, let's try again with a different weapon. Maybe the hammer wasn't the best of choices. Maybe it was We're the so hammer. Close. The hammer oh. was slowing us down, right? <laughs> What's your favourite weapon? Oh, I do actually really like the scythe. Okay. But since I've shown it off already, I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll pick another you can, one. You can do the scythe again if you want. Uh, if it's going to help you beat it. Uh, variety. Let's go for variety. Let's try. Let's try the spear. The spear. Okay. It's a re really, really slick spear. Nice. All right. So let's try that mission one more time. I feel like you're determined to do this. You're going to be here on your own tonight, aren't you? Yeah, Still playing I'll be here it, trying till to nine do it. Yeah. We'll have packed up and we're like, Edwin, go home. I need to defeat yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's do a nice preemptive shot at him. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Does that green bar just relate to your bullets then? You can, sw you can swing the weapon around as much as you like, right? It's just the bullets that are dictated by that green that's bar. Right. Yeah, okay. And you charge that up by attacking, it looks like. Correct. So yeah? that's, that's how you manage you know, your right. choice of attacks. Because you might be able to make the best bullets in the world, yeah. but it's no good if it's uh, going to, you know, if, you can only, if it costs so much uh, of the green uh, bar, yeah. and um, let's say you can only use it once. Use an item. Yeah, it's the blue bar that's the health, isn't it? So we only got him halfway yeah. before. Oh, see. It'd be a bit easier if he just stayed still, stopped kind of moving about. Yeah, it's yeah. really. It's <laughs> It's quite a feisty one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, right. It's just like, stay still. You know, Let me like just beat the hell out of you, please. It's almost as if it's like uh, stepping on a hot coal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's coming at me. He really doesn't like me. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't hang back and uh, relax, does he? 
He's right in there. Obviously, the more you play this, okay, the more you get used to the attack patterns. Right. So, um, naturally, if you are struggling to beat him, then after a while, you'll figure out yeah. some of the attack patterns. Is a kind of a dodge move then, so when you see him charging, you can kind of step away? Or do you have to just kind of run? Uh, sorry? Is it like a sidestep, kind of dodge move, so um, you can kind of... Yes, I mean, there's, there's this, which allows you oh, yeah. to move quickly and okay. use a little bit of your stamina. Um, which is I'd great for, like, you know, obviously getting yourself out of situations. Right. That might be a little bit, you know, sticky. Can you sort of time parries or deflections or anything like that? Um, not really. It's, I mean, you can hold the shield. But, yeah. Um, there's nothing that really kind of parries. Right. I mean, it's a bit hard to parry like a gigantic beast like true. three times the size of you. That's true. <laughs> That's a fair point. Oops. Oh god. Oh blimey. Down twice already. Yes. Yeah, it's not ideal to. To die right next to <laughs> the the little beast. No. Oh no. Do you feel like the spear is a bit better for this, or? Uh, I don't know. The spear might not be the finest of choices, but we'll find no. out. Let's see if I can uh, defeat uh, this uh, uh, Aragami that's currently just yeah. killed me. <laughs> Something just happened then that really drained his health. I saw his health go down by a fair chunk just then. Oh, the evoke rate. So someone did something. And, um, yeah. I just realised what I may have forgotten to do is change the camera settings to make it a little oh, bit easier yeah. to see. <laughs> but I can, I can rock with this. Actually, oh. in terms of his health, this is looking more promising. Sorry? In terms of his health, this, this one's looking a bit more promising. Looks like you've damaged him more than you did at this point last time. Yeah. So you never know. This could be the one. Could have been dangerous. <laughs> oh, see, didn't react in time. <laughs> so, is there anything else you can tell me that's kind of changed between the two games from Resurrection to this one? Um, so, Resurrection is, is um, kind of like a remake of the first one, which uh, yeah. so it covers the story. It's the first storyline um, yeah. to follow. Oh, I think that analog sticks are being a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Swing very fast. Hello. What I might do very quickly is change the camera. There we go. Oh, just about dodged it. Oh no! So the sequel follows on a few years down the line, I guess. Yeah. Since the first one. Alright, devoured. Oh, just not missed. Is this the toughest monster you fought, do you think? Yeah, it is, definitely. Because, uh, <laughs> as you can see, yeah. I, I, I've struggled to uh, defeat. <laughs> Alright. I think it's time if I powered up. Okay, we're down to 10 minutes. Hopefully this will do something. Yeah, go on. Need to break some of his armor again. Oh boy. Oh no! Ouch. Not the best of times to use it. <laughs> Come on, help us. Come on. Come on, friend. There we go. Here we go. So we're all sort us out. So I don't know if we've really covered an overview of the story, have we? Um, like uh, I've kind of... Made, well, in this, in this game, uh, it takes place three years after um, yeah. Resurrection. So okay. Uh, and Resurrection also, uh, unlike the PSP version, covers, yeah. uh, shows a little bit of the story um, to bridge it between the two. Yeah. So uh, it's still obviously in a post-apocalyptic state. Yeah. Uh, as you can tell by the fact we're still <laughs> facing these really tough um, yeah. Aragamis. They didn't sort things out in the first game, though. Yeah, they, yeah. you can see they tried, <laughs> but 
uh, no dice. <laughs> Half a job. Uh, so, slight spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just by the fact that this one exists. Yeah. Um, but no, this is a very, it is a very story-driven game. So there are like story missions. Yeah. Um, and then there are um, side missions. But the side missions are usually a little bit tougher. Right. So this is a story or mi mission you're playing now. This one, I'm not too sure if it's a story or a side mission, okay. but. It is. All I know is that this Aragami is super tough. Yeah. <laughs> um, story missions are quite easy. Uh, sorry. So story missions do have um, cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, which uh, obviously you know helps tell the story right. of the uh, series. And have you got Japanese voiceover and English um, voiceover? Do you know? There's no confirmation on Japanese voices. However, oh, okay. um, there, there will be English voiceovers. As right. As I'm sure you can hear already. Oh, bad timing on that. Up yeah, you've, you've got him down to about a third left. Oh. Yeah. I think you might do this. Hopefully. Oops. Because you've got half your time left. Oh boy. Yeah, you've broken some of his armor down already, I can see. I'm more than halfway, but he's going to be yeah. it's extremely aggressive Wait, yeah, though. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to so get it harder. it only gets tougher as you go along. <laughs> oh, maybe it's about time I healed up. I reckon you're getting in more strikes with the spear. It's probably a better weapon for this. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to chase <laughs> compared to the hammer. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely better. Okay, I don't like that health. <laughs> Try back off a bit. Oh! Oh, oh no. lasers. You didn't need that. There we go. Right, cool. That's, that's quite comfy. Just under six minutes. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> Another rage burst. Three, two, one, let's rock. Yeah, let's go. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Power up. And now go nuts. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. That's doing some damage. Come on, we need to see that health bar that going down some more. Down to five minutes. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't like that health anymore. Alright, so... Do you have a limit on those restore syringes? Sorry? Do you have a limit on how many of those syringes you've got? Uh, I'm not too sure actually, uh, but considering there's over 100 hours of gameplay I'm sure. Yeah, you seem to have plenty of them. <laughs> oh, Soma's down. Need to get Soma back very, in the game. very dangerous the situation. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Yeah, going there back to go. life. Alright, I need to heal up. 
might drop a health ball as well oh, here. Oh, nice. There so, we go. Oh, don't have enough there. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Right, that health ball might come in <laughs> handy now. I can remember where I placed it. That's it. Ideally, we need to knock him over again, don't we, really? That would help. Oh boy. You wouldn't think he's that strong to look at him, would you? He's fairly skinny. Yeah, he's <laughs> very tough. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! So another thing about the um, the battle mechanics is that you can only shield when you've got your melee weapon out. Yeah. Uh, if you have your gun out, you can't shield. So uh, you might see when I try to challenge the lasers that I, right. can't, that I can't block in time. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, well, this is down as well. All right. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to revive while I've got low health, so then a little bit more efficient with uh, healing up. He's got about a quarter left. This is going to be painfully close, I think. Down to the final two minutes. So already you've done better than you did before, though, because you only got him to halfway before. Yeah. Hopefully I can take him down, but it's only two minutes remain. Oh man, you're so close. So close. Oh god. Okay. Come on, I need as many people as possible here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh nice. yes, perfect. That's what you want. Alright, and now power up. Less than a minute to go. Right. Hopefully can do enough damage. <laughs> Forty seconds. <laughs> stay still. What? Stop moving. Ah, oh, just want to stay still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Oh no, not now. <laughs> I'll die now. Come on. Oh man, just a little bit more time. Just a little mo bit more time we could do this. Seven, oh, no. six, five, oh, no. four, oh. three, two, one. Look oh. how close you were. Oh no. So close. You were so, so close. close. You were oh. so close. Oh, gutted. Gutted. Oh. oh. Anyway, there we go. I think that's all that we've got time for, isn't it? Oh, uh, no. I think that's it. No. But valiant <laughs> effort, dude, and thanks for showing us the game. No problem. Thank you very no much. Problem. Round of applause for Edwin from Bandai Namco. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Edwin. So close. So but yet close. So far. As both times as well. Yeah, I know, yeah, right? right? So that was God Eat a Rage Burst, and that's out in late August. Yes. In the West. 30th so of August. Look out for that. Yes. Uh, although, when you, when you try it at home, maybe you, maybe you can defeat him. Yeah, maybe we'll you'll see. have better luck. Yeah. <laughs> can we get a round of applause for Edwin, please? Thank you. And for Rich oh, as well. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Witty banter as always. Yeah, thanks. thanks very much, folks. <laughs> thanks for joining us. That is it. The show is Thank pretty you. much closed. Um, You've been an awesome crowd, uh, both here and on the internet. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Or we do Twitch every week, so follow us on Twitch. Every week, every day, every single day. Every Cheers, single folks. day. Yep. Enjoy Thanks the rest of the weekend. Cheers. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you very Bye. much.